Hello everybody and welcome to today's video. I have really mixed feelings about this video. I'm a bit afraid that you are gonna misunderstand me, but I'm gonna explain what I'm doing here. So this video is gonna show you everything I own, but only my personal belongings. So by that I mean everything that only belongs to me. That is because I live with my son and my boyfriend and they are not minimalists. We have a household that is pretty minimalist, but still, I don't feel like I have the control or I can decide about these things and I think that's completely okay that way. I do want to like monitor or just see how much I own and I think a lot of you are in a similar situation as I am. And another thing is that most videos where people talk about everything they own are made by like digital nomads or people that really do have another kind of lifestyle. So I really want to show you how it can look like being a minimalist but living with a family. So I'm gonna show you in this video, you can already see my bicycle there, everything that I own, that are my personal belongings, that I can decide if I'm going to keep it or if I'm get it, giving it away. So that does not include things that I use in the household, but I'm gonna talk about these later on as well, just to give you a picture of how much we own in our household. And I'm really excited for it because I have never seen everything I own on one like mountain. <laughs> we'll see how big the mountain is gonna be. But so that's very exciting to just see how much I actually own. So let's get started. You can al already see my bike there and just some other things that you can't really see right now, but I'm gonna take everything out of the drawers. I have taken everything that is like not in this room and brought it here, but everything that is stored in this room, I'm now gonna take out and then I'm gonna show you how it looks. So right now I have like everything put there and now I'm gonna show you because you can't really see like that. So this is it. This is everything that belongs to me. I wanted to add that, of course, it's really different for everybody and there's no right or wrong way. There's no right way to do minimalism. There's no right way to count your possessions. I'm not gonna count today, but I'm just gonna show you what I own. And I think I'm gonna talk you through what the things are that I own and yeah, let's get started. We have my bicycle. I think that is kind of self-explanatory. I have a lock for my bicycle because it stands outside and I have a cover for my saddle just so that it doesn't get wet. Then moving over here, I have my three pairs of shoes. I've talked about these in my video I made just about my shoes. I can link that for you. And here is my wardrobe. Um, if you want to see everything I own in my wardrobe or everything I own to like dress myself, I will link you the video as well. Here is just some outerwear accessory stuff, my ski pants, my rain jacket. I have my um, rain pants. I have um, warm underpants. I also have a warm like shirt for during winter. This is actually for making soap. I'm gonna fill like liquid soap in here and make it like soap, but it's just in here for now. My scarf, I have four pairs of pants, the three here and the one I'm wearing right now, it's black jeans. And then we have like three t-shirts plus one I'm wearing. Um, we have two sweaters and I'm again wearing one. And again, I just checked the laundry and there's nothing in there. We have underwear, we have like socks here, um, bralettes and undies here. Then let's move on here. Here, I have put my toothpaste uh, tablets. These um, are just for brushing my teeth. Then I have like a mug I made myself and my toothbrush. I have um, a soap bar that's actually like for washing my hair, but at the moment I'm not even using that one. In here I just have extra hair ties. And in here I have, I can show you, wait. In here I have deodorant, I have a comb, I have a like travel towel, it's a really small one. I have some plasters, 
some more plasters, I have an extra hair tie for whenever I'm traveling and if I lose one. I have an extra toothbrush, actually I have two toothbrushes just because I think it's much more convenient that I don't have to like pack the one I'm currently using when I go somewhere, but I have one right in there. Then I have my safety razor here and um, that's the container for my tooth um, taps, like my toothpaste taps whenever I go somewhere. And let's see, oh, that's lip balm and some other extra hair ties. Let's see. Another plaster and how are they called? For taking out ticks or anything like that if we're somewhere in nature. Yeah, that's it. That's everything I use in the bathroom. Over here, I have some diaries I wrote in and that one is actually not full yet. So I'm still like every month or so I'm writing something in here. And in here I have um, all the pictures from my childhood. I also have a tiny, tiny um, outfit that my son wore when he, he was just born. It's really small. I also have like some coins from like foreign currencies and what is that oh that's like the sock that belongs to the outfit and that's um something for riding the train for my son in switzerland this uh, is artwork my son made for me that's the the lid to the chips uh thing that is artwork my son made for me and also like things i made in school and also just paintings and drawings i made as a kid and I chose to keep. These are like my sentimental items I still own. Moving on, we have my laptop. Oop. Um, this is all the paperwork I own. This is like every document I need to have in paper form is in here for me and my son. This is like just books and an explanation for a special tea I got. These are some other things I sometimes need or just paperwork I haven't like I should reply to. And this is just the thing that I use whenever I have to go somewhere and take paperwork with me so that I don't have to take the whole big thing. These are some more books. Here are my keys, my phone, my wallet, my external hard drives. There's actually one more that is plugged into my boyfriend's computer to like back up in the cloud. And this is my everyday notebook to just write things in or to-do lists. But la in like the last few months, I haven't really been using it. In this pouch, I keep all the other like technical cords and things like that. I have already talked about this, but this I also own that is for relieving back pain. You can roll on that and it's just, it's similar to the black roll one, but it's a cheaper version of it. This is my clean canteen water bottle. I really like that one. And I take it almost everywhere whenever I take my backpack. Then we have some miscellaneous things. We have, um, this has all the accessories to my backpack in it. This is the hip strap for my backpack. This is the camera cube and this is the backpack and all of these together make the whole like travel bundle that I use for wherever I go, whatever I do, whenever I leave the house, I need to take more than what I can carry in my hands. And these are, oh, this is like a postcard from my grandpa and a cinema um, gift card. These are the things I use for handcrafting. I'm sitting on my wooden stool. That's also a thing that belongs to me. And with that, oh no, I forgot the camping gear. I have this basket and in there is my um, sleeping pad and my sleeping bag for camping. So this is actually everything I own, everything that only belongs to me. And I'd like to know if you think that's a lot, if you own completely different things or if your things look really similar to mine. And now let's talk a bit more about other things that I use in our household and how this works. Actually, I forgot to mention the camera I'm using right now. Of course, I own that as well and I have a microphone on top of my camera. So my camera and my microphone are two other things that belong to me that are my personal belongings. Oh, another thing I forgot. So in our household, I still do use a few things and I just wanted to mention what it is. I don't think I'm gonna remember every single piece, but just so you can have an overview of what other things I use in my daily life. 
in our living room. I only use the couch. I do not store anything there, but I also use the printer and I use the like internet Wi-Fi um, router we have in there. And apart from that, I don't think there's some camping gear stored in the couch that we use all together. In the kitchen, I pretty much use everything except for the coffee stuff because I don't drink coffee, but we have a pretty minimalist kitchen. We do not have a dishwasher, for example. We do not have any like kitchen um, electronic devices except for one smoothie maker and like the stove and the um, stove top to cook things on. We have like just two pots, two pans, one wok. We have some like cutlery and plates and some bowls and a few metal and wooden utensils for cooking. And apart from that, we just store food in our kitchen. Then in my son's room, nothing belongs to me. It's all his stuff. And then we just have a bathroom. And in the bathroom, I took everything out of the bathroom. But of course, I still use like the shower curtain, the washing machine and toilet paper and towels. Also in this room here, I use the bed. I use our... Um, backpack tree to store my backpack on. I can link you the video where I talk about the backpack tree and other ways I store my things as a minimalist. Um, so you can check it out right there. And also I use the bed sheets and blankets and things like that. Another thing in our basement, I use our pump for like putting air into the tires of my bicycle. And I use like a small kit to fix t tires or like the bike whenever something breaks. And I think that's about it. Oh, we have like a closet, a small room where we keep our cleaning stuff. I use the cleaning stuff. I use the like vacuum cleaner. I use the tools we have for maintaining our apartment and fixing things if things break. I use like wrapping paper whenever I wrap presents and just the things that we have in there to like maintain the household mostly. I think that sounds really normal. We don't have a really minimalist household, but still I am a minimalist and I live with two people that are not minimalist. So I at least can choose to have not that many personal belongings because these are actually the only things I can actually decide upon. Even if you live in a household and you can never be um, a person that only uses 100 things throughout their everyday life. I think it's still um, worth a lot to at least look at these personal belongings to see what you want to keep from there and what you want to, to declutter when it comes to these uh, personal belongings. And now I think I'm gonna put back everything again. And I hope you liked this video. I hope you didn't misunderstand me. I didn't want to say that these are the only things I use in my life, but these are just the personal belongings that are that to totally belong to me. Let me know how you what you thought about this video. I know I'm going to be so excited to look back on that in a few years when I think my personal belongings will have changed a bit. Maybe not that much, but still I think it's always changing a bit and it will be very interesting to see in a few years what I have owned summer 2020. So it's Sunday evening, I'm trying to edit this video and I realized it didn't really record the ending. I just want to say thank you so, so much for watching. I'd like to talk to you in the comments and if you want to see more videos, I will link some as always and I hope to see you next time. Bye!